Hey everyone, I'm Charlotte and today I want to show you how to work with templates to scale your work in any type and personalize it to your needs. The first important thing to understand is that templates are organized on the type level, meaning that the templates you create are specific to the type of object. That means you can find all of your existing templates by going to your types library. From there, you can check which templates you've created for each type. For instance, I've just jumped into type human. There are all kinds of humans I want to add to my AnyType, but depending on my relationships with them, the information that I might want to register is going to be different, and this is exactly where templates come in. The first template I'm creating is that of friend. If I'm adding my friends to AnyType, I might want a place to put their photo and add some relevant relations like birthday, year we met, current city, and maybe how we met. Relations you can think of like properties or attributes of an object, which can also connect objects to each other in the graph. By adding them to a template, I'm standardizing which properties I want to record for each human object that I designate as a friend. Finally, here you'll just see me adding a tag, friend, and I'll show you in a couple minutes why I've done that. Now let's see another example. In any type, I might want to add investors as another kind of template. Both friends and investors are of course humans, but when I choose to document about a potential investor is definitely different from what I document about a friend. Instead of this person's birthday and year we met, I'm probably more interested in things like the fun name, check size, whether or not they lead rounds, and the date of our last contact. Again, these relations are now here for me to fill in any time I add an investor to any type and I can use them to more effectively sort and filter my investor list. From now on, each time I open any type and want to add a new human object, I'll see this choice of two templates, friend or investor, that you saw me create a minute ago. Today, I want to add my friend James, so I'll choose the friend option and fill in the template. I want to show you really quickly that once I've done this, I can jump to my graph and see now that James is connected to the city of Los Angeles and we were introduced through a mutual contact, Alice, who is also an object in my graph. Next, I want to add an investor, so I'll create a new human object, this time choosing template investor and fill in the relations from my template. To see how this becomes useful at scale, I'm going to show you a little preview of a mini CRM I've created in AnyType using the Sets feature. Here you see me filtering for all humans in my AnyType with tag Investor, which remember we added to the Investor template. Then I can view, sort, or filter on the relations I added inside the templates themselves. We'll discuss more about sets and how to use them in a separate video tutorial, which you can find on our channel. But for now, I want to return back to our focus on templates. Now let's switch gears a little bit and imagine that I'm currently creating another human in any type, who is my colleague, Sean. I didn't use a template to create Sean. I just organically made this object of type human. And now I think I would like to reuse this layout and group of relations for all colleagues I will add to any type. In this case, I'll jump to the three dots menu in the top right corner and choose the option Use as Template. Here you see another little window pop up which tells me that I'm now editing a template, not my human object. So I'll delete all of the information that's there and just keep the structure. Once that's done, I don't need to click Save or anything, but you can see when I enter my library and open Type Human, I now have three different templates I can use depending on which kinds of contacts I'm adding to any type and how I want to document them. That's it. I hope you'll have a lot of fun customizing your templates. Remember that everything you create in any type is private, available offline, and owned by you. Thanks for watching.